There is an old real estate saying, it's called buyers are liars. <laughs> it cracks me up because I said it today to somebody. Um, it, it, it's, it's from um, previous to our new NAR rules, uh, but where buyers would just kind of go shop around and just go to any agent that would show them anything. And you could show somebody 30 different houses and write them five offers and they wind up uh, going with another agent because uh, they just didn't have the patience to wait or didn't want to disturb the agent that they had been working with for a while. Uh, gotta say it just recently happened to me. Um, and on that note, we're going to talk about how not to be a liar if you're a buyer. And so I want to talk about getting ready to buy a house and the steps that you should take because interest rates are coming down, which is awesome. And things t tend to do that right before the election. So I think we're going to see a lot of buyer activity over the next month or so. So getting ready to buy a house. Number one, find an agent, obviously. Um, but here's the thing. Find an agent, get a referral from somebody that you know that just bought a house and had a really good experience with their agent. Maybe their agent had to help them really overcome something or solve some big problems or they had a complicated transaction and they had a good uh, result with it. Those are the agents that you want. I've had a few, I've had a bunch of closings recently and there are two that stand out for, for me. One of them, it was a brand new agent. God bless them, you know, it's, we've all been brand new agents, but at the final walk through this agent was asking questions that should have been asked at the first showing. Um, you know, it was just, I think it was haphazardly put together. It was a great deal for my seller. And obviously I negotiated the, a, a really great transaction for him, but um, I don't think that the buyers were. So uh, as another one is, if you're buying a multifamily property, please make sure you're working with an agent who's experienced in multifamily transactions. There are a lot of nuances in them that uh, somebody who has never sold a multifamily has no idea about. And unless they're getting really good advice from somebody who has done it, uh, you can kind of get screwed as a buyer in that also. And that, I won't go into details there. So just make sure uh, where you're getting your agent from is a referral and not from like, don't go on to the uh, Facebook page for your town and ask for an agent because you're going to get 40,000 agents who have been experienced for anywhere from two weeks to 30 years. And it's not a good, it's, it's just not a good way to generate um, the transaction or the results that you want. Okay. This agent that you get will meet with you. If they're a good agent, they're going to meet with you. They're going to sit down with you. They're going to explain your contracts. When I sit down and meet with a buyer, if we're not going out to look at something right away, so you, you have to sign some kind of a contract with an agent in order to look at property. My process with my buyers is I sit down with them. I will usually bring a lender in for that sit down so we can answer all the questions right away. And it's so important to, to really understand every single line of that contract because there are nuances in there. You are in a contract, you have obligations to the agency, um, to the agent, and the agent has obligations to you. And it's really important that you understand every single line of that. If an agent is not sitting down with you and explaining everything with, with no pressure to sign right then, I never have my clients sign right away or my customers sign and become clients right away unless we're going to see something right away. But I like people to go through it with me, marinate on it, come back at me with some questions, let me answer the questions. That's how we know we're gonna have a good relationship. Um, if you're working with an agent and they have not sat down and explained the new NAR rules with you, that's a big red flag for me. Your agent should absolutely have uh, sat down with you and explained exactly what that means and um, ways, to, ways that you're gonna cope with it and to negotiate that in a contract after you've done that. You wanna really, and even starting like A, right this minute, get your credit in really good shape. Your agent can introduce you to a lender if you don't have a lender already, and I have found that my lender is my best resource for knowing exactly what to do with my credit. Um, it's so weird, but if you underutilize your credit, your score can go down, that's what I've found. So it's, it's all about um, how much credit you have, how you're utilizing it, and a, your lender partner can help you get your score up to exactly where it needs to be. Do not open new credit cards. Do not finance new things. Um, the big joke in real estate, do not buy a new car right before you close on your house. Don't buy anything. 
Uh, you're gonna wanna start saving for a down payment, obviously. There are a lot of programs out there. I have a lot of buyers that come to me and they're already pre-approved with their bank, who they normally do business with, which is great. But there are a lot of programs out there that are available and there are some great lenders that have many programs with many down payment options, anywhere from percent all the way up to, you know, you put down as much as you want. But there's great programs that will work with you and your credit situation and your cash situation. So um, those are just some steps to prevent you from becoming the buyer that's a liar. <laughs> if you have any real estate questions, please feel free to send me a message. If you're watching me on Facebook right now, you can DM me right here. Um, and if you're watching me from my YouTube, you can send me a message on there. Thanks a lot.